In this video I'm gonna show you how I set up Infuse on Apple TV with Synology server and with that you can just rip your movies into the server and then just stream them on Apple TV from that server. I used to use hard drive connected to router to stream movies but then I had issue where I had to restart the router anytime I want to watch movies for whatever reason it wouldn't work. I'll show you how to connect Synology to Apple TV for it to work. And there are plenty of ways to do it I'm sure, I'll show you how I did it on my device. Start by creating a shared folder, I made one specifically for Apple TV and I disabled Recycle Bin. I created a user specifically for Apple TV, so here you put a name, password, then in permission, that's a user created Apple TV, read and write, for everything else I did not allow any access. Now make sure SMB is enabled. Now you can connect to that folder, the one we created earlier. And I have here movies, music videos and TV shows. Here you can upload your files. Now to connect to the server from Infuse app, go to Network Shares. Under Available Shares, you'll see your server there. And when you're gonna try to connect, it's gonna ask for username and password. And just use the ones you created earlier. And you'll have those available here. You can add like I did. I added movies, music videos and TV shows to favorites window. Here, just to show you the way I created it, that Apple TV user does not have access to everything else. If you click Homes, for example, as you can see, access is denied. Same with music, photos, web. And I like that Infuse has metadata available from internet, so you can have your movies you purchased and then ripped to the server, you can have them available here with the nice covers. Then you can see description of it. So establishing this connection is very simple. I thought it would be more complicated. Speeds are a lot faster than using external hard drive connected to router. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, see you next time.